12 different postures of Surya Namaskara. Step 1. Prayer pose, Pranamasana. Stand at the end of your mat, keep your feet together and distribute your weight on both feet equally. Open your chest and just relax your shoulders. Breathe in and lift both your arms up from the sides. Exhale and bring your palms together in a prayer position in front of your chest. Step 2. Raised arm pose or Hasta Uttanasana. Breathe in and lift your arms up and back. Make sure that your biceps are close to your ears. Make effort to stretch your whole body, starting from the heels up to the fingertips. Push the pelvis forward just a little bit. Instead of bending backwards, reach up with fingers. Step 3. Hand to foot pose. Hastapadasana. Breathing out and bend forward from your waist while keeping your spine straight. Exhale and completely bring your hands down to the floor beside your feet. Bend your knees to bring your palms down to the floor if necessary, but then make a moderate effort to straighten your knees and keep your hands motionless in this position. Never move them until you complete this third sequence. Step 4. Equestrian Pose Ashwasanchalanasana Breathe in, a, in and push your right leg as far back as possible. Bring your right knee onto the ground and stretch it back. Check if your left foot is exactly in between the palms. Make sure the left leg which is kept in front is in 90 degree. Step 5. Stick pose. Dandasana. Breathe in and take your left leg back. Bring your whole body in a straight line like a stick. Keep your arms erect to the floor. Step 6. Salute with 8 parts of the body, that is Ashtanga Namaskarasana. Gradually bring your knees down to the floor, then exhale. Slightly take your hips back and slide forward. Relax your chest and chin on the ground. Elevate your posterior a little bit. The 8 parts of your body including 2 hands, 2 feet, 2 knees, chest and chin should touch the ground. You can also touch your forehead to the ground instead of your chin. Step 7. Cobra Pose or Bhujangasana Slide forward and raise your chest up into the Cobra Pose. Keep your elbows bent and fixed in this pose. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Slowly look up. Inhale and make a moderate effort to push your chest forward. Exhale and make a light effort to push your navel down. Tuck your toes under. Make sure that you are stretching just as much as you can and you shouldn't overdo it. We shouldn't go beyond the limits of your body. Step 8. Mountain Pose Parvatasana Breathe out and lift your hips as well as your tailbone up. Put your chest downwards to create an inward V pose. Keep your heels on the ground as possible. Make a moderate effort to lift your tailbone up. Gradually go deeper into the stretch. Step 9. Back again to equestrian pose 
Ashwasanchalanasana. Breathe in and bring. Now you have to bring your right foot forward. In between two hands, bring your left knee down to the ground. Press your hips down, then look up. Make sure that your right calf is perpendicular to the ground. You only need to mod have a moderate effort in order to push your hips down towards the floor and deepen the stretch. Step 10. Hand to foot pose. Hastapadasana. Breathe out and bring your left foot forward. Keep your palms on the ground. You can bend your knees if you feel some discomfort. But try to straighten it as much as you can gently raise up for the 11th step raised arm pose hasta uttanasana breathe in and roll your spine up make your hands go up and bend backwards a little bit push your hips slightly outward make sure that your biceps are beside your ears aim to stretch up more instead of stretching backwards Step 12, back again to prayer pose, that is Pranamasana and relax.